seeing a positive trend so far this summer. Fewer Kentuckians have become drowning victims, both in swimming pools and in natural water. LEX 18's Adam Weiner has more. Every year, tragedy strikes in the water during the summer. 2013 is no exception. In May, Danny Reynolds of Jessamine County was swept away by the Little Hickman Creek. Later that month, also in Jessamine County, 17-year-old Jacob Mulkey drowned in the Kentucky River. And in July, in Union County in western Kentucky, three-year-old Carter Nall wandered into the Ohio River without a life vest. But sad situations like these have been less frequent this year. We're very encouraged by the reduction in the number of drownings this year. Charles O'Neill helps coordinate rescues across the state. O'Neill says that of the 51 water rescues so far this year, far fewer have been drownings than in recent years. Last year was probably one of the worst years I've seen on record in a, a good long while as far as number of drownings that we had both in personally owned swimming pools and also in open water. O'Neill says people are more aware than ever of the dangers of water, especially swimming pools, but he acknowledges the effect of the weather. It's been cooler, not as dry, and weekends when people normally get out to the lakes and rivers, uh, the weather's not been conducive to that. There's been more rainy weekends. So while more rain has meant more stranded kayakers on the water, it's meant far fewer people venturing out into the water in the first place. Covering the news, Adam Weiner, LEX 18 News.